am back in Toronto. I will probably be here for the next little while. Today is uh, January 13th, I believe. January 13th? No, it's gonna be later than that. January 15th, today is January 15th. So I had planned today to be doing a what I eat in a day video. I kind of forgot that the video that went up before this one, which will be, have been on Thursday for you guys, was also a what I eat in a day video, but I feel like that one, because it was what I eat in a day on a resort, was kind of a special case, so hopefully it's okay to have two in a row. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll leave a link for it down below. I did a full day of vegan eating at a all-inclusive resort in Mexico, so go check that out if you want to see how easy it is to be vegan on vacation. So, I totally forgot I was filming this morning when I ate my breakfast. <laughs> Uh, it wasn't anything exciting anyways, I just had toast with peanut butter and I've been drinking some oolong tea. This is tea that we brought back with us from Thailand. Just a little Thailand memory in a cup right here. I just went ahead and cut up some sweet potatoes for my lunch. Uh, for lunch, I'm just literally going to be throwing things together. Whatever we have in the house is going to be my lunch. It's going to be super random, but healthy, delicious, and vegan. And then I'll probably have to go and grab some groceries for dinner, and we'll do something different for dinner. So if you guys are interested in seeing my healthy, vegan, what I eat in a day, then definitely stay tuned, and we will get right into it. I figure I'll go ahead and take my supplements with you guys. For supplements, every day I take two or three of my TQ for women. It's a testosterone suppressor. It helps me with my skin. Sometimes I take two every couple days. Sometimes I take three every day. Just kind of depends how my skin is going. Right now, I'm getting a little bit of a breakout starting to come through, so I'm gonna go ahead and take three. These next two I just got for my birthday from my mom. You know you're a little bit of a weirdo when you ask for supplements for your birthday, but um, these are omega-3, 6, and 9 blend. So I used to eat flax seeds for my omegas. I had this big bag of them, and then I ran out of my flax, and I never bought any more. And I don't think I'm getting enough of my omegas. It says one to two, three times daily with meals. That's another three per day. I'm gonna go ahead and take right now so the woman at the health food store she couldn't for sure tell me that these were vegan because they're not labeled as vegan but uh, it says right here that they're veggie capped and all of the ingredients inside are vegan so if depending how strict you are about things you may or may not want to go with those ones and then the last thing I picked up was some vitamin B12 this is a spray I wanted a spray I feel like it's the easiest way to take it I read online that you want to take B12 underneath your tongue or in the side of your cheek so that you get the best absorption. So I'll talk about B12 a little bit for people who maybe don't know. I think most vegans know this, but if you're not vegan and you're watching my channel, which a lot of people are not, vitamin B12 is the only vitamin that a vegan cannot get from eating a plant-based diet. Every other vitamin is available in plant foods except for vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is really important for brain health, and your body has a store of it running through it and so when you first go vegan you don't need to take b12 right away because your body can live off of what it already has in its system i think people say uh, after about a year you want to start supplementing b12 the thing about b12 is that vitamin b12 deficiency is not something that is exclusive to people who eat a vegan diet so where b12 comes from is actually dirt it's the earth basically the way that people traditionally get vitamin b12 in their diets is through eating animals so traditionally animals would be out in the fields eating the grass and they would be ingesting dirt as well and that dirt would then turn to b12 in the animals bodies and then we would eat the animals and in turn ingest the b12 and we would get b12 ourselves uh, humans would also get b12 from drinking from natural water sources so rivers or lakes in the past people would grow their own food and the food wouldn't be as sanitized and as clean as it is nowadays so the food that was grown in the earth, they would actually be ingesting some of the earth through the food that they were making. Just even by gardening their own food, they would be exposed to B12. The vitamin B12 deficiency is not only an issue for vegans nowadays because in factory farming, animals are being fed 
in troughs. They're not being, they're not eating food directly out of the ground. So the animals are not getting the B12 that they need and therefore human beings who are eating animals are not getting the B12 that they need either. B12 deficiency is not exclusive to vegans. It's actually a problem for a lot of people. Even if you aren't vegan, I would recommend looking into a vitamin B12 supplement. You can get them ejected. One of my girlfriends does her own injections of vitamin B12, which totally freaks me out. Yeah, I'm gonna give this one a try and see if I notice any differences in my mental health and mental capabilities over the next couple of weeks. So it says shake well and take one spray. I'm nervous, I'm scared, it's gonna taste gross. Okay, ready? Ah, I'm scared. Okay, it tastes like fruity. Yeah, it just tastes fruity, it's actually yummy. Awesome. Okay guys, so I'll be back to show you what I'm having for lunch. Okay, so because I'm having those sweet potatoes for lunch and they're gonna take forever to cook, I am gonna have a little snack. I'm gonna try these for the first time. 180 degree snacks, almond, cashew, nut, and seed crunch bar. So it has no soy, dairy, or peanuts. Uh, 150 calories per bar, four grams of protein, two grams of fiber, four grams of sugar. There's also nine grams of fat in here. So the ingredients in here are dry roasted nuts and seeds, cashew nuts, almond nuts, pumpkin seeds, rices, crisp rice, rice flour, rice bran, rice bran crisp rice pearls, rice flour, sugar, salt, organic brown rice syrup, cane sugar, palm oil and sea salt. Obviously we don't want to be purchasing anything with palm oil in it, but these were given to me as a gift, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat them. Whoa. Mmm. It's good. You can really taste the pumpkin seeds and the cashews. That's really where most of the flavor is coming from. It's good. That Zengary cheese this is another birthday present of mine. <laughs> I'm too hungry to wait for my sweet potatoes to cook, so I'm having another snack. I have these crackers I haven't tried before. They're all right. But that cheese is amazing. If you live in Toronto and you haven't tried the Zengary cheese yet, get on it. It's so good. Hmm. An hour later and my sweet potatoes are ready to go. Uh, my fridge is really noisy and when it runs, it's super loud, which is why I'm standing as far away from it as I can right now. I was going to talk through everything that I was making for lunch, but my fridge is making a bunch of noise. So, what I'm going to do is take the sweet potato out of the pan that I cooked in. I'm going to put in some chickpeas with a few different seasonings, spices on top. Put those into the oven while I make a dressing. I'm going to use tahini lemon, maybe a little bit of dill. Oh, my fridge stopped. So on my chickpeas, I'm going to add a little bit of onion powder, garlic powder, and this is uh, like a spicy red pepper kind of spice that I got from the Korean grocery store. I forget what it's called. <laughs> I'm just gonna add a little salt and pepper on there as well. And these are gonna go into the oven while I make my dressing. All right, so one tablespoon of tahini. And I don't think your lemon is supposed to pop open on you when you roll it out, so we're gonna toss that one. I guess I'm just gonna go ahead with a little bit of lime juice instead. I'm gonna put a little bit of mustard in there. There's my fridge again, sorry. Now a little bit of dill. Mix that all up. I'm 
I'm just gonna add a little bit of water so it's a little bit more spreadable. So these could probably stand to go a little bit longer so that they're more crunchy, but I'm hungry so we're just gonna use them like this. So my tahini turned into a bit more of a dip rather than a dressing, but that's totally fine. And this is my delicious, healthy lunch. We've got some great sources of protein and fat and carbohydrates, of course, as well. so good okay so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and I will see you guys the next time I eat something else I guess hi guys remember when I said this was gonna be a healthy full day of eating it still is <laughs> I mean my meals are healthy I'm gonna have a little snack Hungry. Okay guys, so for dinner, I'm having this mushroom risotto with basil cream from my Deliciously Ella cookbook. Uh, minus the basil cream. I just stuck a bunch of spinach in there instead. I've made this recipe a bunch of times before, so I have made a few modifications to it. I'm sure the recipe is online, so I'll put it in the description box down below and I will list how I modify it. I take out some oil and stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up.